Good morning guys and girls and welcome to Ace of Fin Fishing again and uh, thank you for watching thank you if you've subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and push that little notification button to get notified every time we upload a video we load a minimum of five videos a week and we've got close to 1700 videos with tips tricks fishing sessions anything you need to actually get better results on this channel now guys today i'm covering a trace uh, again for shad taylor or bluefish in america taylor in australia and uh, this trace is, is very similar to the ones they use in Australia, which is almost like a chain gang. We don't use it much in South Africa. When using this trace, uh, it's purely to keep the fish because it's not very fish friendly. So if you're going to keep some tailor to eat or shad to eat, this is a trace you can consider. You don't even need cotton to put the sardine on. It's using a multiple uh, amount of hooks to actually create it. And it just hooks to the front of your bait or sardine. And the rest of the hooks you just push into the bait and you cast it. Um, so I'm going to start. It's a, it's a. How can I put it? This is what. Well, let's start with what I'm going to use. I'm going to use number seven, toothproof piano wire. I'm going to use a power swivel. I'm going to use a Kendall Round Mustad, one oh, and that's my bait carrier. And then for this particular case, I'm going to use stainless steel mustard, stainless steel hooks, three O's, tarpon hooks. The reason I'm using stainless steel is for a chain gang, it, it takes a bit of effort to make them. So you don't want the hooks to potentially rust. So you're going to use stainless for that. It's something you're going to use over and over again. Having said, I'm going to use three hooks on this one to, to uh, show the, the, the principle of the trays. And you can also go up to a number eight or a nine piano wire because it's a long-term tray something you don't want to retie or cut up later you want to use it over and over again okay so we'll start with the carrying hook and the first hook and i'm just going to take a piece of steel for that then use my pin to just create the loop a nice little round neat loop to do a, a haywire twist on that and then i'm going to cut more or less the length I'll need for the first one. Okay, so starting off with that, you're gonna need your swivel and your carrying hook. That will be the first part of this trace. And those you'll add together on the same little loop on the steel. And to tie the, the, the do the hair wire twist, I always use my long nose pliers. Do four to five twists. At 45 each. So in other words, they're forming a 90 degree with each other. And in my last twist, I'm going to straighten the long end. To finish it off with a straight wrap using the tag end only. And then hold it nice and tight, just make a little handle for myself to wind off the tag. That winds it off nice and neat, no tag sticking out. And there's the start of my trace. Okay, again, as I did it before, we call this the sardine length. So this needs to hold it in the head. And then I'm going to use three hooks. So there's my next one. Very short. Again, just make my little loop. And then add... My first hook. Okay, that's step two. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece of steel. I'm 
going to measure my second piece. So you want it, double that length of another hook. I'm going to make my two loops like that, where I know where I'm going to tie my, my hooks. I'll first attach the hook, making it easier to work with. Okay, and then I'm going to attach it to the other hook. Alright, and I want this to be able to be exactly be able to stand up exactly like that one. Right, I actually made this a bit long for a normal sardine. This is enough. Two hooks. You don't need three. But you won't miss a shad with this. Okay, guys. Well, that pretty much explains exactly what I wanted to... Two, where should this should be your sardine, this the head, this hook will carry the head and these you'll just push into the sardine like that, which then makes it nearly impossible to miss a shad and you hardly have to, if you're going to use cotton, you'll use very, very little cotton as this hook's carrying it and those two hooks are holding it. So that's for quickly responding to a shad run or a shad bite smash in the morning where you can quickly just hook up and cast and catch a fish. So that's a little chain gang. Now you can make these shorter and add a third hook but I see lengthwise I'm already there. I don't have to add a, a third hook. So if you're going to make these sections much shorter in between then you can add a third hook or a fourth your carrying hook plus another three and uh, yeah stainless steel hooks as with my deep sea that uh, the daisy change and all those lures I want to reuse over and over again always go for stainless hooks purely because they don't rust uh, having said that this is not a stainless hook so you can change this to to stainless as well but the important ones that need to hook your fish are your bottom two or these on the trace, that's the ones you're going to hook the fish with and that's the ones I don't want to rust so that they always keep a sharp point, keep a sharp hook and uh, you don't miss a fish. Now this you can either fish on a bung, you can add a bung to this or you can fish it on the drift bait trace as per one of our previous traces, have a look for that, the shad drift trace where you just add a sinker on your main line or a piece of line with a sinker and a bead and another swivel so you fish it like a spoon you just throw it out otherwise you fish it on a normal trace you add a bung or you don't add a bung to a uh, three three-way swivel and down to your sinker you're going to fish it exactly the same way it's just adding the additional hook but thank you guys for watching and remember to let us know if anything we do share with you guys works for you and send us some photos to grindelite at asfn.co.za and uh, we'll be happy to put that in the news flash as well. But uh, thanks for all the guys that do give us feedback already. We get a lot of those. And thank you for the requests. The shad traces is as per request we have received that we run through a range of shad traces. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.